Kohima Peace Memorial or Eco Park Laga Soft Inauguration Program, Ajay Tagishe, Kude Ambassador of Japan to India, Suzuki Hiroshi Bra, Special Guest Tagishe. Inaugural Program Day, Hiroshi Bra, Talaga Condolence Tishe, Manugu Kan Kun, 80 Sal, Agede Japanese Forces Aro, British Commonwealth Forces Laga Majade Pasishe, Taikenge. Taikushi, Manukun War Logote, Eku Lobule Taganai, Taikan Bishi Duk Paishe. Eco Park Obor Daigushi, Itu Nagaland Forest Management Project Laka Part Hobo, Japanese Government Laka Official Development Assistance Lode. Diva Zomo Eighty years ago, this peaceful and beautiful land of Nagaland became all of a sudden engulfed in the ravages of war between the Japanese forces and the British Commonwealth forces. For nearly three months, from early April to the end of June, the devastating Battle of Kohima unfolded, culminating to the fierce fighting known as the Battle of the Tennis Court. The people of Nagaland, who had nothing to do with the war, inevitably had to go through a great ordeal. Many were coerced into cooperation. So many people lost their lives or got injured under the crossfire. Most people were forced to flee from the land of their ancestors. In the end, the Japanese forces, led by Lieutenant General Kotok Sato, decided to retreat on account of lack of replenishments. On their way back, countless soldiers lost their lives in the torrential monsoon rains due to lack of food and various fatal diseases. For the Japanese people, the Battle of Kohima is remembered, along with the Battle of Impao, as one of the most disastrous battles in the World War II. In this milestone year of the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Kohima, I feel deeply honored to witness the inauguration of the Kohima Peace Memorial, established by the great leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Sri Napier Rio. This monument enables us to stand here in solemn silence and offer our most sincere prayers to all the victims of the battle. I extend my deepest sympathy and heartfelt condolences to the people of Nagaland who had to endure indescribable sufferings brought forth by the Battle of Kohima. May the souls rest in peace. And I am on behalf of the state government and the people of Nagaland joined the Chief Secretary in warmly greeting each and every one of you, especially the Ambassador and the Japanese delegates on this auspicious occasion. Today is a very important milestone in the narration of Naga-Japan partnership as our, ours was an association that started under a cloud of conflict, but has today matured into an advocating peace and brotherhood of humanity. And this message is embodied by the Kohima Peace Memorial, which has just been inaugurated by Excellency Hiroshi Suzuki, the Ambassador 
from Japan to India. And also the stone laid by the people of the state in the memory of our friendship. And the foundation laid by the ambassador for the Eco Park, which you can see the development yet to be taken place, where indeed privilege to have partner to work with Japan yeah. and in a small way the state could participate in erecting the Kohima Peace Memorial, which as said by the ambassador also, that the people, local, national level, and international, particularly the Jap Japanese, welcome to see the Kohima Peace Memorial and res give respect to the departed soul in the conflict during Second World War. I have personally visited the Peace Memorial in Hiroshima. I saw at close quarters the history of war and violence, pain and suffering that war brings to everyone. It is these bitter experiences that have made us realize the importance of propagating peace around the world. We are making every effort to ensure that every citizen of our community become ambassadors of universal peace. We Nagas have always felt a very close connection to the Japanese people. And in recent times, we are witnessing the increasing influence of Japanese culture in our society. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipiriobra, ito homoi koshe, ito event to Naga Japan Partnership Day, ekta milestone ase, kundu conflict bra shuru kurishe, holibi peace, aro brotherhood day, major hoshe. Environment, forest, or climate change, Laga Minister C. L. John Brabi Gotha Gurishe. This peace memorial in Eco Park is the realization of a long field niche in the state given to the history of association between Nagaland and Japan. Nagaland is a small state blessed with rich natural resources. The state is part of the Indo Myanmar make a biodiversity hotspot, one of 36 such area in the world. However, the biodiversity in the state is deeply threatened due to increase of population and traditional way of cultivation. Above 70% of the state population is engaged in agriculture, mostly traditional method of zoom incepting cultivation. This form of agriculture is attributed to be a major driver for forest cover loss in the state has witnessed a gradual decline each in forest as reported in the India State of Forest Report. In such situation, the sanctioning of the Chaika assisted Nagaland Forest Management Project NFMB seems provide a provisional in rescuing the rich biodiversity of the state. The project objective is to restore forest cover through tree plantation and zoom areas and promoting conservation of biodiversity through community participation. While at the same time, improving livelihood by supporting income generation in 185 selected villages covering about 
13% of the total villages in the state. The project aims to bring an area of 790 square kilometers under the forest cover by plant, planting 17 million sapling. NFMP is being implemented successfully by my department and created for this luckily goes to the state government led by our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nifuriji, who has been supporting the project since its inception. Through this project, the goodwill and benevolence of the people of Japan is getting known even in the most Indiro Naka villages.